Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at making this sound. Which is supposed to sound like water droplets, but it's actually not a sample. It's completely out of a synth. And the candidate for today is going to be Harmer, actually. And yes, you can use Harmer as a VST inside of Ableton. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can buy the VST version. A little disclaimer, this synth is Windows only, so Mac users cannot use the VST version in other DAWs like Ableton. You guys have to stick to uh, using FL Studio for that. So let's get started. Um, what you want to do is you got your basic synth patch right here, right? And here are your oscillators and you can mix them. So Harmer is an additive synthesis, uh, is additive synthesis, but with like a subtractive synthesis approach, which is that you got a filter layout. And what I've noticed is that it has some special features which I haven't really found in other synth, um, which we're gonna dive in today, which is basically the resonance um, knob over here. So first of all, if you click here, you will go to the timbre one harmonic level. This would be basically fundamental, right? So if I, let's pop this open. So as you can see, over here, this is the spectral con content of your waveform. So now it just went down lower octaves, right? So we scroll out. You're basically telling Harmer to turn off all of these harmonics. And you can also see up here how the waveform will take shape. So for now, let's turn this off and we got nothing. Now we'll go into the filter and go for the noise over here. I would bump up the resonance fully, turn down the width and turn up the harmonics. And you got your water droplets right here. Something around there. As you can see, it's some kind of a sample and hold, uh, sample and hold thing. I think that's about uh, about correct, uh, correct position for it. And next step is just record that out. So we got some sample here and let's just gain this up a little bit or maybe we don't need that need to check here. I've already gained stage shit. Um, next thing I like to do is to try and gate out some of those harmonics that we were having before. Let's just Something like that, maybe. 
And then you got a nice sample you can play around with um, or do it straight from the synth. Um, let's take the hybrid reverb, for example, add that here. Maybe some delay, a grain delay, could be cool. We can put it before the reverb as well. And you got some cool texture for a track. Um, can also have a play and try and stretch it out. Maybe do some texture. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear the clicking from the sawtooth that we used as a basis for the sound. Um, I find that if you use like 100% wet reverb, it smears out, so you like mask it in order to get it clean. So yeah, that was about it. Um, if you know any other cool tricks you can do with Harmer, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'm very keen on knowing some more nice tricks you can do with it. So see you in the next one, guys.